uh, you are aware that elections are now underway in India. So, as an NRI, how do you look at this uh, scenario, political scenario in India? I think it's a great thing that's happening, mm -hmm. right, with the biggest democracy in the world and with the population that we have in India. Mm. So, I think it's a big undertaking that's happening. So, okay. just this morning, I was talking with my father-in-law. Uh -huh. So, the as 85 year old, uh -huh. there are great facilities for them. So, there are people coming into the homes to get their voting done. Uh -huh. There were like six people team that came into their home uh -huh. and got his voting. There were witnesses okay. that he wasn't forced or anything. And then his vote was locked in front of those witnesses. Okay. And uh, that way his vote was counted. So, that way they've done that with all the senior citizens oh, okay. in India. Yeah. So, can you imagine with the number of senior citizens to yeah. have this kind of uh, undertaking, right? Yeah. Considering the prevailing scenario, mm -hmm. what results do you expect? Uh, uh, what is your guess? Looks like it's a Modi wave, right? Everywhere. Yeah. I think, but yeah. What might be the reason according to you? Because I think uh, they marketed themselves well, the party, definitely. But, uh, yeah. Is there any specific programs they have propagated? Programs, yeah, definitely. I think they've done a great job with the infrastructure, that part, definitely. And with the development projects, they've done a good job. And, uh, yeah. Which, which initiatives uh, do you, did you like most? Initiatives, I think they yeah, have He has done a lot of things for women, so especially this Ujwala gas scheme, uh, the women in uh, rural areas get free gas, right. free gas lender. Yeah, so, those things, no, uh, development wise, I think uh, there are definitely uh, with the population we have and, uh, right, mm -hmm. yeah, with the huge country and the logistics and everything, so he has done a great job with, I would definitely give the progress he has done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with all the UPI payments mm -hmm. and uh, the technological advancements mm -hmm. that have happened in India, those things are definitely agreed. Even economy. Yeah. Economy, economy we are the world's largest, third largest economy in the world. Now. It is, it yes. is the third largest economy in the world, yes. So. But uh, I think there are still a lot of issues that they can work on in the next four years. But what, what kind of uh, improvements you would like to suggest, reforms, I mean? Reforms is one big one that I would definitely hope that they will do it going ahead is uh, more on the safety of women uh -huh. because India is uh, one of the highest sexual violences yeah. on women. True. India is right up there and in just 2021 and 22 those cases have gone up by 25 to 30 percent. Okay. So I really feel that as a powerful politician with his voice being heard all over the world and in India with the impact he can make, mm -hmm. I think he can do a lot more for uh, women's safety. Okay. Definitely, so that's one thing that I wish they would focus in the next four years. Okay. Getting fast track justice. Good. Yeah, no. and holding people accountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely I would like but to see more in that. Yeah. What do you think of the opposition leaders, especially the, the leadership of Rahul Gandhi? Do you think is he capable of leading uh, India? No, I don't think so, no. So, so. Well, there's no, there's no competition there. There's no right? competition here. Yeah. So between the two of them, people are choosing the better one that they feel. Yeah. But all opposition parties have come together and they have formed yeah, and they're India, falling India up, France. And they're falling apart too. Uh, so they're not united. They're not. Yeah, just by using the name like India and trying to attract people. If they're not showing what they can do, right? They yes. don't have a solid plan. So people are just dropping and out of yeah, I, I think it's there collapsing. Is no, yeah. The cohesive agenda is not there. Definitely it's not there. there. No, no. no. Shortcomings. Yes. Anyways, any, anything you want to share? Uh, nothing else. I think India is doing great, but mm -hmm. I, would, I would like to see more reforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But Indian diaspora is also a, one of the major strengths of Mr. Modi because whenever he comes to the US, right. all, all Indians here, only original Indian yes, sir, they, they always welcome him. You know, yeah, I think it's way. just the feeling that, yeah, yeah they feel so, so. proud probably, mm -hmm. right, for what he's doing. Yeah. So I'm not denying the development work that he's doing. He's, yeah, he's doing a good job. So I that, think yeah. de development is going to mm -hmm. be the major thing yes, of, uh, yes. in India, and that is that will contribute to his victory. Yes, in definitely. The yes. Thank you, okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.